Okay, then my presentation and demonstration on how to make a cheer bow. Being able to throw your hair up and still looking presentable is a woman's essential key to making their day. My cheer bows are fun, cute, and an accessible way to styling up your everyday boring ponytail. As you can see, I am wearing a bow in my hair and it makes it look cute. My bows are a good way to bond with your teammates or friends and they're simple, quick, simple and quick to make. These bows can also serve for other purposes such as holidays and or sports events. Now I will demonstrate the main steps for making your bow. First you'll need materials such as ribbon, scissors, hot glue, and or bobby pins and clips. The hot glue is recommended. Do not use super glue. It comes off too easy. These are found on totallythebomb.com. Ingredients are included. You can make anything you need and it is very accessible. These ribbons can cost anywhere from 97 cents to $5 depending on the type of material it is made out of. The scissors are cheap. The cost can range anywhere from $1 to $5 depending on the slickness of the blade. The bobby pins or clips cost about $1.50 to $3. And the hot glue including the sticks and the gun is roughly $6. All of these can be found in Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Walmart. I recommend you going to Walmart because it is cheaper than the two that I have announced. Once you have all these items out in front of you, you will need to place the ribbon up in front of your face, up, not in your face, up in front and set them on the table and make a cross and an arch. It should look like the cancer ribbon. You will need to cut out the ribbon to the exact length that you want, little, big, medium, whatever you need. And it is re recommended for beginners that you use one piece of ribbon. Once you cross the ends of the ribbon, you then need to place the arch on the back side of the X and pinch the outsides and insides of the cross and arch. Afterwards, you will need to add a dab of hot glue on the back of the ribbon and place a smaller ribbon to wrap around the area. After it is wrapped tightly, you then need to add a second drop of hot glue on the back of the smaller piece so that it is fixed properly afterwards. Afterwards, you'll need to cut the stray ribbon. Your bow is almost complete. Now all you have to do is add your bobby pin or clip. Do remind you, you can put the bobby pin on the clip like it is placed in my hair. There should be an opening on the back of the bow where you can put a bobby pin in. If you cannot find it, you can super glue it on or hot glue. Again, hot glue is recommended. It is more easier. I discovered how to make these bows on numerous websites. My favorites were the Southern Plate and the TotallyTheBomb.com. They are very accessible again and they are very simple and easy. Now please remember that your bow is only as unique as your creativity. You should be able to put it in your hair and look awesome. Remember these items can be as cheap or as pricey as you want them, ranging from, a, from $10 to $30, depending on how much you buy. Also, this is a simple and quick process to get that to get you that extra pep in your step. Quick reminder: as I had re, re, as I had said, if you're interested in learning different styles, go to www.southernplate.com or you can go to totallythebomb.com. They are both very very easy sites.